Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, as the uh, thumbnail of this video suggests, was the sixth season of Lucifer really necessary? Now, I know that there are a lot of fans out there. I myself am a fan of Lucifer. And my mom as well. We both watched it together as a family kind of thing. And I know other fans online as well who like Lucifer. And I've run a couple opinions by a couple of my friends and some others. And they thought that the season or the sixth season was good. I or others thought it was unnecessary. And I myself am kind of torn in between, really. You see, the sixth season, take a couple of subplots out, was actually or would be actually pretty good. You see, from seasons one through five, with the exception of one episode pushing the whole bad cop agenda, that is a great series. It is a beautifully done series. There's not a lot of wokeness in it at all. Now, with uh, the sixth season, they do pull in the PC bullshit that I really that takes away from the entertainment quality for me. You see, in the sixth season, they bring Adam, you know, Adam and Eve, into this. To kind of stop Eve from getting married. And he's obviously going to be a misogynistic jackass. Who, as they call, toxic masculinity. It's like, do you really need to fucking do that? I mean, yeah, he could be a bit of an ass. He could be self-possessive. But he doesn't, or he could be possessive, sure. But does it have to, do you have to bring in the whole toxic masculinity argument? Do you have to bring in the whole, he's gotta be an asshole argument? Or, could you have written it a little bit more sanely, and a little bit more better, and say, have him want to come back, or have Eve back saying, yeah, I have been a massive dick throughout the millennia, but you know what? I've lost sight of what it means to be supportive. You know, give Eve a little bit of tug of war between uh, her and Maze. That would have been, but her also choosing Maze would not, you know be such a bad idea because honestly she has been with me she is still with Maze. but having that temptation would actually be more of a fitting thing for eve because well let's face it she, the whole reason why she became the way she was was because of temptation then they have the whole bad cop and black cop and white cop thing like they did in the earlier seasons i think it was season Five, where they have a Menadiel uh, experience the hands of the evil white cop and another kid that he was helping and whatnot and the cop that pulled a gun on him gets bumped up to a uh, detective automatically saying that well corrupt cops can or often have their complaints overlooked and therefore are bumped up instead of fired. Well, you know what? If you actually do a little bit of uh, research, you actually find out that most cops who do have, or who do get those kind of complaints on the records, actually don't get the complaints dust or put into a dusty box and fuck all, bump them up to a new elevation of rank. They actually do get held accountable. And the whole, uh, this new commanding, or this, uh, sergeant, so to speak, of uh, Amenadiel because he was trying to be a cop, his, uh, his partner, the one that is training him, his training officer, she's like, oh, Chloe Decker. Well, she's legacy. Also, she's white. Really? Then they had to go and show, I didn't do the whole detective business because I want, or I went to a campus one time and all they saw was fear. They saw the people who killed their brother, or their mother, or whatever. They, they are afraid of cops. You know, that doesn't help society as a whole. 
that really doesn't. When you have already a very chaotic society in real life, making movies about the falsehoods of the media saying that cops are systemically racist and that the institution of law enforcement is inherently racist. That is not helping because it is a huge lie. You are literally going, and they even take a stab at the uh, whole, well, the whole one bad apple argument goes out the window there. I'm sorry. That is also bullshit because you're dealing with a dozen cops in the LA precincts. And here's the thing. It still amounts to 1% of the, or less than 1% of the entire law enforcement fraternity in the United States. Folks, are there racist cops in the United States? Yes. Are they, or is the institution of law enforcement racist? No, it is not. You see, before you all make these judgments, walk in the shoes of a cop. Walk in the shoes of a law enforcement individual. Because when you do that, you will actually realize there are so many different factors that these people take into account every day doing their jobs. And when they do have to do something, they have to make a ton of different decisions in the span of one second. Do you know how difficult that is? I'm telling you, for somebody like me, it's damn impossible. I could never be a cop. But for somebody who is a family member of law enforcement and who has had this talk with my family members who are of law enforcement, let me tell you, they basically put it in a very comprehensive moment or comprehensive manner that when you are on duty, you have to make those decisions. You can't hesitate because it might cost you your life especially in dangerous situations. So when you have a show like Lucifer, which a lot of people, myself included, like, and they pull this nonsense, it's not helping. You're just propagating a false narrative. Now, if they would have taken that and the toxic masculinity Adam out of the picture, and, well, you would have had a much better season six. When it comes to Siri, or seasons one through five, I actually rate Lucifer objectively at about a 9 out of 10. Where if you add season 6 with this stuff that they had to put in with the whole PC culture and bullshit nonsense, it actually takes a dive down to a 7. One season knocked two stars out of 10 off the total score. Because they had to push the p political narrative of cops being bad and institutional racism. Instead, they could have said they got rid of the cop. He could have been in jail or something, had a whole different thing about it there, you know? Or had a Menadiel have that cop arrested because, you know, the complaint went through. But no, they had to do the whole cops are bad and white cops are a problem thing it just was really unnecessary it showed a complete lack of common sense so is lucifer season six necessary again yes and no it pushed a nice little time travel story which also is a problem because the grandfather clause once you go back and they tried actually explaining and then there's these other youtube channels that are like don't think too hard about it. Well, here's the thing. When you're a reviewer like me, you do have to think hard about it. You do have to deconstruct it. You do have to look at it. And as a fan, as a general showgoer, well, yeah, you don't think about it too much. And it can actually be entertaining. But as a reviewer, I have to look at it. And when you see things that are just bad writing and bad acting, bad directing and storytelling... Yeah, it takes away from the higher quality of the show. So, season six, with the whole time travel thing with uh, 
Lucifer's half-human, half-angel daughter having rose obsidian wings that are bladed instead of uh, feathery, you know? Well, it's odd. But they... And when she goes back to the future to talk to her mom before she dies, Chloe in the future is old and ready to die. Well, here's the thing. Um, she talks about how her... Or she then spills the beans that, well, as you once told me long ago, I wouldn't change a thing. Well, here's the thing. When she went to the past, she did change things. Going to the future, it is a slightly different future. Because then, now, Chloe has lived that life. And Chloe has experienced that experience. It's kind of like the whole Terminator thing. John Connor was in the future of the Resistance and sent Kyle Reese back, but who was John Connor's father before then, you know? It's the whole argument that I had on those Terminator, uh, or that I'm having on the Terminator streams right now. But yeah, folks, season six of Lucifer did a complete quality drop of storytelling in this one season alone, where one through five is about a nine out of ten objectively, one through six is a seven out of ten so lucifer season six harms the overall quality of the entire show because you played with storytelling that a lot of people have gambled with and it didn't pay off and you tried pushing in pc culture nonsense that really hurts the film or the series because it's inherently divisive so yeah, uh, subjective, I would actually give series or seasons one through five a 10 out of 10. I actually enjoyed it with the small exception, so nine out of nine out of 10, 9.9 .9 out of 10, with the exception of that one episode with the bad cop thing. And then, uh, showgoer, it's, well, 9.9 .9 out of 10, where one through six, subjectively it dips to a nine out of ten one through six where one through five it's a nine point nine out of ten subjectively anyway folks that is going to be the video thank you all for tuning in if you enjoyed this video feel free to like comment subscribe share all that jazz let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below what did you think of the show lucifer including the sixth season did you think that the sixth season harmed the overall quality of the show or did you like it be damned let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below folks this has been orange hat reviews stay humble oh damn <laughs> didn't shut off <laughs>